Since I was a kid, I've always been interested in storms. As an engineer, I try to understand how things work, so I actually built and designed a device to measure the weather, basically, on the inside of a tornado. The United States, on average, gets about 1,200 tornadoes per year. And the reason is, is because of its unique geographic location. You've got the Gulf of Mexico off to the south, and these storm systems, as they pass through, draw this Gulf moisture as water vapor. It comes right up through the Midwest. And springtime generally reflects a very, what we call a very active jet stream. And it, and it brings this uh, very powerful winds uh, that just comes right across the Midwest. That in combination allows these big storm systems to develop. And of course, wind shear is a very powerful ingredient for tornadoes. The ingredients for a tornado obviously are quite complex, but some of the basics are, you know, you have to have moisture, you have to have lift, and then the most, other most important ingredient is what they call wind shear. And shear creates these big horizontal rolls in the atmosphere. And then when a thunderstorm forms underneath it, it actually tips these, these horizontal rolls in the vertical position to where a thunderstorm forms over them, you have the whole thunderstorm rotating. Those final processes are what we're trying to study. You know, what's bringing the rotation finally all the way to the ground? And that's really one of the biggest mysteries of tornado formation. You know, it's very difficult to forecast where a tornado is going to be. When we're actually in the field waiting for thunderstorms to develop, we use what they call visible satellite imagery. This is basically a picture from space uh, showing the best areas, what we call instability. And that's how and where we are able to target these storms that are developing. Ground-based radar can't even see these storms develop, but satellite can. Satellites also detect what we call boundaries. These boundaries left over from old thunderstorms become the focus of new thunderstorms during the day and actually enhance the tornado potential. Visible satellite technology allows us to identify this, which otherwise would be going totally unnoticed and undetected. One of the biggest things that I would love to see in future uh, satellite technology is the ability to actually see lightning uh, within the cloud tops. All the vertical motion and so forth greatly enhances its ability to create lightning. This lightning mapping will actually show frequency. If the storm is becoming severe, the lightning frequency increases and thus be able to do an early detection of whether or not that storm is severe or not. If we knew more about tornado genesis and structure, and we're able to stretch that warning out to 20 or 25 minutes, right now the average time is about 15 minutes or so. That gives people more time to repair and seek shelter. Without the GOES satellite, we would be back in the dark ages of the mid to early 60s. These GOES satellites are responsible, in my opinion, for saving many, many thousands of lives.